whole new world beneath the blue. You'll find giant whales and tiny fish too. It's a whole new world beneath the blue. And we are part of it all, me and you. Don't hurt the ocean. Protect the reef. We are the keepers of all that's beneath. Don't hurt the ocean. Protect the reef. We are the keepers of all that's beneath. It's a whole new world beneath the blue. You'll find giant whales and tiny fish too. It's a whole new world beneath the blue. And we are part of it all, me and you. That four-inch triggerfish that you caught earlier was a big one, too. Oh, Hongyan, Nengu's only This one's gonna break records. Uh-huh. That's a record breaker, all right. While you were reeling in that fish, I mean, shoe, look what I got. Papa and now, what is it? It's a lugwa, or parrotfish. Is that the guihan that makes the unai? Yes, it is. It eats the algae that grows in the coral, so the parrotfish eats the coral to get to the algae. It has special teeth to help it grind it up into unai. Wow, I can't imagine having to eat rocks to survive. No, no, Crystal. The coral is not a rock, the coral is alive. Ti ato hai ato tasi. La 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 esti na ato tasi. And did you know that the coral is what makes our reefs? Coral is alive? Fina and mampus in kakunoi balati. Aye, Dad, the coral that you're thinking about is only the outer skeleton or exoskeleton of what lives inside. What lives inside are the jellyfish's primos or coral polyps. Coral politics? No, coral polyps. They're small, soft bodied animals that use the elements from the ocean water to build their hard outer shells. When enough of them get together, they form a coral reef. And coral reefs provide hiding places and food for many different types of sea life. Here, let me show you what I mean. Violets are biofat So this is the reef, huh? Atena Toru SDC, huh? Look at all the colorful coral. Fun fact Did you know that Guam has roughly 80 species of soft coral and 400 species of hard coral? Sintia Tungo, can you explain to me exactly how this reef building thing works because there's something fishy about all of this. Well, a tiny coral polyp, only a few centimeters big, plants itself somewhere on the ocean floor and begins to build its exoskeleton. So one polyp can build an entire reef? Not quite. A polyp can start a reef, but it needs help growing it. So the polyp will spawn more polyps to help build its exoskeleton. So as the polyps multiply, the coral gets bigger and bigger until it builds an entire reef? Not exactly. As the polyps multiply, they form a coral colony. 
The head of a coral is a colony of individual coral polyps of the same type. Like right over here we have a coral colony, and right down here we have a coral colony. And right over here in this general direction we have another coral colony. A collection of coral colonies is what makes a reef. Esther, who tumut park go? Now I get it. One little polyp in the ocean blue Spawned so she could build a reef And then there were two And then there were two And then there were two Spawned so she could build a reef And then there were two Two little polyps in the ocean blue Spawned so they could build a reef And then there were a few And then there were a few And then there were a few Spawned so they could build a reef And then there were a few A few little polyps spawn and grow a coral family Literally they stick together and live in a colony Many kinds of families make up our coral reef Pointy, round, or prickly, each one is unique One little polyp in the ocean blue Spawned so she could build a reef And then there were two And then there were two And then there were two Spawned so she could build a reef And then there were two If coral colonies are alive and they don't have any legs to walk around, then Temanu Mamanotsu, what do they eat? Well, coral polyps have small tentacles that usually come out at night, and they grab small plants and animals as they float by. But this isn't usually enough to sustain them, though. Have you ever heard of a symbiotic relationship? Sure, it's when two robots fall in love. Mm, not quite. It's when two living things need each other to survive. It's so romantic, right? No, it sounds kind of clingy to me, like when you get gum stuck on your shoe, you can't get it off. Some coral have a symbiotic relationship with zooxanthellae, which is a type of algae. Algae, huh? So it literally grows on you. Pretty much. The zooxanthellae needs a place to live, and the coral needs food for energy. Will you be my zooxanthellae? I will be your coral dude. If you'll be my little felly, I'll turn light from the sun into energy for food. I will be your zooxanthellae. Your house will be my home too. I will be your coral felly. My exoskeleton will protect you. So, without zooxanthellae, the coral would starve? And without coral, the zooxanthellae would have no place to live. I think the only zoos in the world should be zoos for zooxanthellae. That way we can keep all of our coral alive. We could call it zoos for zoox. And we can feed them zucchini. I can tell you're not going to let this go. I, th I think we need a break. Or cheese fondue? Or take them to the zoovie theater? This may sound zoo or Chris, but I think they all come from Kalamazoo, where they play their kazoos and eat zoob and sandwiches. You know that zushi you bought me last week? Can I give you zoo and I owe zoo for it? I zoo not have the cash for it right now. Thanks, zoo. Soda duk duk, fena angui, na li bui gui. I inai, imato, fama hagan, fama guihan, fit mana onmu, la castizo, zama papa. Atem, eza, nangu, hukondu, koti hinagongu. Fenhasu, Atigu, Hagum, Siti. Wow, Adinan, you were bent to shine. The reef is so beautiful. Now I can see why so many tourists visit here every year. But more important than the tourists, are all the animals that live here. 
Aten, Haludan, Haganadu. Look, a flying putty and tossy. Ninga. Starfish don't fly. Ninga, why are you wearing a lab coat? Because the reef is nature's medicine cabinet. Medicines have already been created using organisms harvested from the coral reef. There's a special place beneath the blue where the fishies live and the starfish too. People come from all over the world to see the magic of the reef unfurl their colorful coral. Every kind, hundreds of animals that you will find. The reef is their home, they need it to survive. They depend on the reef to stay alive. The reef Look at that grouper. Goftonkulu. <gasps> My grandma says she used to date one of those in high school. Or maybe she said he looked like a grouper. T. Malika, now that's not nice at all. Oh well. <gasps> Aten, Sagamsen, it's an octopus. You know, they scour the reef looking for food and places to hide. Did you know they also have the ability to change their skin to match the coral and plants around them? Like nature's camouflage, life in the reef is so amazing. There's so much going on here that we're not able to see from above. Do you ever wonder what is under the blue like other coral hagen gumsen or halu'u? Just stick with us, we'll take you down into the blue. In our submarine bus. Look over there. It's not a brain. It might look like one, but it's a coral and a soft inner membrane. Oh, my dear. Looky here. It's a drifting box jellyfish looking so clear. Check it out. Isn't it cool? It's a large group of green, more commonly known as a school. Do you ever, ever wonder, wonder why? Under the blue, like are there coral, hagen gumsen or halu'u? Mogatai nasu, just stick with us, we'll take you down into the blue in our submarine bus. Look at the ocean, listen to the waves. Find a duck duck, call it out of its shell, give it a name, set it free. Touch the sand, dig a hole, make a turtle, make a fish, sign your name. Build a castle, knock it down. What? Learn, swim, play, hold your breath, imagine. From a goon, Kosinya man mana duda hamdu, will you help protect our reef, our island, our home? Thank you, kids. Zahasu, femengui fi dunklu za en fematotsu make. Dream big and work hard. Adios. Adios. Idikiki Hagen crawls out of Ikokka. Hatatuhun kumahulu i atdao. The tall trunkun nizuk siha swish above her. Mangonta i paluma siha. I inai is soft beneath her feet. Haaten urizanya. She looks around. Her brothers and sisters are all gone. 
Sumuo ni Sakman Concha y Canton Langit. For a moment, she's confused. Sinya Hashenti Naguikuizaha. And then her senses awaken. Hahungo nonanitasi, Mother Ocean. Maila dikiki hagen, ini mogi. Nonanitasi calls her. She feels the rhythm of Inapu Siha and the pulse of Itzautzau Dasi. She listens. Maila tahita na dos dikiki hagen. And she follows until she feels salty hanam matingen closing over her shiny shell. The dikiki hagen slips into the deep blue water. She knows that she is home. Gaigigui gilugotnya. generous support of viewers like you. To make a donation, visit nihikids.org. Donations are tax deductible. Nihi is produced by Duk Duk Goose, Inc., a registered Guam 501c3 charity. Connect with at Nihi Kids on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. 